What's up? What's up, guys? <laughs> do you want to do the intro? What's up, guys? <laughs> <laughs> do the whole intro. Come on. What's up, guys? Everybody. Hello. Konnichiwa. So today we want to talk about a few things about our Tesla. Now that we've had it for a couple months, now that we're past that whole honeymoon phase where we spend time and love it and take care of it and we're so fascinated by all its fun little features. And now we get into the marriage phase where we're getting to know a little bit about the car. We're starting to learn about some of the things that might just piss you off about the other car, the car, the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 uh, today we want to share with you some of the things that we like and some of the things we dislike about the car now that we've had it for two months. All right, so we'll start with Tyco. What are some of the things that you like about the Tesla? I love number one is air condition have dock mode. If we put dock mode and um, we go, for example, go grocery or go restaurant or go somewhere and she have to stay in the car and normally it's summer is too hot but if we put dog mode, we can control temperature and it's really perfect for staying in car. One of my favorite things I was going to also mention kind of on the same topic, the thing that I like is the air conditioning controls. When you are controlling the air conditioning unit, it's really cool because it has a visualization of the airstream. So you can angle it up, down, in, out, you can separate it, and it shows the toggles vertical and horizontal. And it's really cool. I guess it's just more of having the visualization of it right here on the screen. That makes it seem a little bit cooler than the typical changing the vent with the little thing. <laughs> All right, what is something else that you like about the new Tesla? I like, uh, uh, for example, I drive. <laughs> this one, if I put my name, and what I like, what position, what high, everything. And one button, everything automatic. You like that too? I actually put that as one of the things that I like is how the seat yeah. adjusts for you yeah. when you get in. So right now, it's on the default easy entry mode. But if I just tap right here and put my name, mm -hmm. the steering wheel, the mirrors, the seat, even the temperature controls adjust to my profile. So that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And we have in here, uh, Taiko saved a profile as Name Kimono. What does that do? Namakemono mode is. What does this mean? Sloth mode. Sloth mode. Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> she's made a profile called Sloth. <laughs> so when she's in the car, she can sleep. Yeah, sleep mode. You know? I love This is my favorite. <laughs> This is ridiculous. What My number one. And I can watch Netflix forever. <laughs> yeah. Chill. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> All right. So another thing that I really like about the car, the acceleration. First time in a Tesla? Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. When you push the battery pedal down on this thing, this thing puts you in the back of your seat like this ride in Japan called the Dodo 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 Ba. Uh -huh. Oh uh -huh. my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. And this is only the dual motor. This isn't even the performance version. Now ours has the acceleration mode, so it does have a faster acceleration. And if you test drive a long range and then a long range with the acceleration mode, you're going to feel the difference. Anything else you really, really like about it? I don't drive, so I don't know exactly, but I can see you. Sometimes we use automatic drive. I, I think for me it's good because I don't drive right now, but if I drive future, I think good for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like a terrible or I wanna sleep drive. Just get it. No, like that, but better for me, like a little bit help me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And one more is I try in the parking place and I try park backward. Mm -hmm. And I like uh, all camera. And plus, can see in the screen, in the hub here load, mm. almost, almost hit you. You have to rely actually on the rear view camera. I'm not familiar with the camera, so when I was trying to do this, you can't see anything. Because the back window slopes too high, the back tailgate comes up too much, you can't actually see what's behind you, so you're really reliant on the back camera. So those are some of the things we like about the car. But now let's talk about the things that really piss us off. Aiko, you want to talk about what pisses you off? Yes. I say I like automatic. Why? The autopilot? Yeah, but what I don't like, Tesla sometimes, uh, the brake, the so strong. The autopilot is inconsistent sometimes. Yeah. It's weird yeah. because it, it's still a learning technology, so uh -huh. it doesn't know exactly when to 
hit the brakes or to soften the brakes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when a car is merging, instead of slowly braking, letting that car pass in, it just slams on the brakes and it screws yeah. up everybody else behind you, which I'm yeah. sure pisses them off too. I don't like just like a brake. Like a... Right. I don't know. Another thing that I noticed with the autopilot that does kind of bother me as well is that the sensors can pick up stoplights. So when there's a stoplight on a bridge overpass and it sees a red light, the car on the highway wants to slow down because it sees a red light and that's really unsafe. So what else bothers you about the, uh, the Tesla? I like this sun visor. I need more wider yeah, or because this one taller, is yeah. skinny. Um, it doesn't piss me off too much. I just wear sunglasses when I'm driving. So they... ah, I remember one more I so bother me. I put a namakemono mode, mm -hmm. the slap mode, and I sleep here and I wake up and maybe this is security, I don't know what happened. And I open just door and crazy music sound. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I feel like my ear is broken. Right. Max, max volume. It's a great security feature, I guess, if somebody's trying to break into your car, but if you're in the car and you're trying to get Inside, out. And I'm, I'm panicked because I open a little bit like this and I don't know how I can stop the music and this now I try to close the door and still now I open the door and 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 I open the so for example, if I'm in Jersey Mike's and I'm getting a sub sandwich and Tyco needs to run to the car to get something, I have to open my phone. And now because we're wearing masks, I can't use the face detect. I have to take the mask off or I've got to put in the punch code. And then, <laughs> and then I've got to go open the app and then I've got to open the app and wait for the app to wake up the car. Once the car's awake, then I've got to unlock the car. So there's all these steps that just are annoying that take so long just to unlock the car yeah. where a normal car, you just hit oh. the key fob and boom, it's unlocked. <laughs> this is the key card that you get when you buy a Tesla. And the way to unlock your car and to drive the car is with this. It shows right here where you're supposed to put the key along the B pillar right here in order to open the car. And then if you want to drive the car, you have to set it perfectly right here by the cup holder. It's really awkward. That's kind of a weird thing about this. I mean, obviously with technology, you're going to have a lot of advancements. You're going to have a lot of changes and things that will take a while to fully develop. Like we're talking about with the autopilot, like we're talking about with the application. So, 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 although there are still a lot of really great things about it, it's a developing process and we understand that just like a relationship, you're going to go through some hard times, you're going to go through some fun times. And in the end, mm -hmm. if you're there for the right reason, then you're gonna be able to work through some of those negatives so you can enjoy the experience altogether. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> because I like what? What I like more is a uh, more stretch in back and front. Oh, and we're gonna go back to the things you like now. Yes, yes, yes. So yes. the video is not over. Tycho still got a few things he's like. There is a pretty good amount of storage, right? Yeah, pretty good. We actually fit her in the frunk. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. So there is a ton of storage and these seats flip down, there's the entire back and then there's a little section below even in the back that mm -hmm. you can store a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we put last time many suitcases, like a four suitcase. We have four four, four checked suitcases, one, two carry-ons, two carry -on, and back, two, two backpacks, backpacks, and a big... And a big filing cabinet. Yeah. yeah. And oh. Fei Fei. One of the other things I really don't like is the door handles. These ones, they actually have a specific technique you have to use to open the door. And plus, we, we know already, and but sometimes friends or different person come and everybody confused. Yeah, so that's another thing. It's the learning curve of having all this technology is all these different functions that people aren't familiar with. And those are some of the things that we like and dislike after the two months of having the Tesla Model 3. We plan to keep it until the Cybertruck comes out. <laughs> or yeah, a cyber that's... RV. <laughs> that looks amazing. So, Will, we really appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys like this video. And if you found any use out of it, feel free to tickle that subscribe button or press it. Just be gentle. Don't punch it. Don't smash it. Why is there so much violence with that subscribe button? I don't know why. Just be gentle. <laughs> All right, and then hit the like button, leave us a comment. Let us know if there's anything that you guys found interesting that you learned here for the first time down in the comments below or some other things that you'd like to see about our Tesla. We'd love to share it with you guys. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Go be awesome. And...
go live your best life.